Do you shoot in HD? Do you want to put up stuff on YouTube in HD? So that you can click that little thing at the bottom and it says HD and you can see it in HD? Have you tried exporting out your, your files from Final Cut and they're like over a gig? They're like 800 megabytes or you know a five minute HD file is like two gigs and it took, and it took like three hours to render? <sighs> well, I've done some experimenting. I've, I've come to be familiar with a program called Compressor, which is your friend. And let me show you what I use to get my stuff up on YouTube in HD. Um, right here, I have some footage. Now, I'm very anal about this. When you're doing this, make sure that there's nothing highlighted up here. Sometimes Compressor likes to take stuff from here. So you want to come down here. I said an in and an out point. In, out. What I like to do is I like to highlight this so the Compressor knows it's this. Just because I'm very anal. Then, we go to File. Export. Some people have gone here, some people have gone here. I know you, Maria. I'm talking to you. Go to Compressor. This will be a little lesson in Compressor. So it's going to open up. It's a whole new program. You're going to get a few windows. I never worry about that one. These three guys are what you want to know about. Now, here's all your settings. Now, when you go in here for the first time, these will probably all be closed. But uh, now, I've done some experimenting. I found out which ones work the best for me, and I'm showing you that. You can have some fun and explore yourself. But right now, we're going to go click on DVD. Uh, we're going to scroll past all this stuff and get to, oh, look at this, HD DVD. Like I said before, that'll be closed. Now, I usually pick this guy. H.264 might look familiar to you. That might sound familiar. It's a codec. It's a compression codec for HD footage. Uh, this is a compressor setting that will do 90 minutes of footage and get it down to in a good compression as, as good as it can. But my, my footage down here is 18 seconds. And so it's going to want to compress 90 minutes. So it's going to compress it pretty well. And, it's gonna, and this works good. So, you know, come in here, click and hold, drag it in because it says drag settings and destinations here. Uh, click on this horizontal bar. Click on this bar somewhere. I usually click right there. When you do that, Inspector fills up. Yes, it's called Inspector. And it'll show you cool stuff. It'll say what it's called. It's call you some stuff. Estimated file size. Look at that. 18.54 seconds. So, think of it this way. Right now, it's about a second of footage per megabyte. That's pretty good. You have three minutes of footage. What's that? 60 times three, 18, about 180 megabytes. That's not like eight gigs. That's pretty good. That's not so bad. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what I do. I usually try to keep my HD video short. Um, so then what, what do you do next? All right, so you come over here. Click this guy, source. And you have to click on the word. It's weird. Right click. You want to change this to source. Source is weird. Source puts it in like where your hard drive, where your like computer hard drive is. So go to destination, you can go to other and find a place. Let's just put it on the desktop for now. Uh, this is the name of the video. You know, we can come in here and change this because this is like such a long dumb name, but whatever. Let's just do that for now. And then that's our setting. Um, and then you just click submit. Odd little guy. It should say compress, but click submit. Uh, it's going to say this weird stuff. Uh, here's the name. Uh, cluster. Don't worry about that. Priority. Hi. Don't worry about that. That's for like other people who need to worry about that. And submit again. So it's going to start rendering. And uh, there we go. Compressor is processing. Now I got about a million things open right now, so it's going to be slow for me. But, um, well, Steve, how long is it going to take until it's done? It's got this weird like stripy barbershop, barbershop bar right there. I don't, I, don't, I don't like this. How do I know how long? Well, Instead of figuring, you know, I'll tell you right now, come up here, Batch Monitor, click that. Now, Batch Monitor is a program unto itself. You can see that right here. So that's going to take more compressing power just to tell you how long it's going to take to finish compressing. Um, select a cluster of view batches. Now, this, <laughs> this computer is called this computer. I don't know why they do this. It's just weird. And then here's my computer, How to Date an Asian Woman. And there's my progress bar. Why can't I just put that in the front? I don't frigging know. But right now it's telling me five minutes. Now, like I said, my computer is running about a million things at once just to make this video. But if you restart your computer, open it up again, this will probably be more like three minutes. So 18 seconds of footage, three minutes, whereas you might be used to something like three hours uh, or something along those lines. I, I, you know what I mean? So 
I found this works. When the file's done, it will be an HD file. It will be 1080. Um, you can even do 720. You can have fun. And it won't be over a gig. You can get your HD footage up onto YouTube. This obviously isn't. I'm doing this in a completely different way. Um, and if you want to know, I'll show you. But there you go. Get your footage up on YouTube the way it was meant to be seen. I'm Steve DeCasa. Please message me with any requests for anything you might need to know. Bye.